सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत् शंकर लोकशंक नारायण परोव्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्मे लोका सप्तवीपा चेदिनी so i said we'll look into the bhashya under 210 uh, before the introduction of 210 actually stiti uh, adhyaya ya tamu vacha rishikesha prahasan niva bharata senayor ubhayor madhye vishidantam idam vacha under this uh, uh, the bhashya starts it is actually an introduction to the uh, uh, or rather a summary of the first chapter and the first nine or the, the 10 shlokas not the 10th shloka because 10th shloka is just a narration by sanjaya to uh, dhritarashtra as to uh, what krishna taught arjuna when arjuna gave up and as though smiling so bhashyakara bhagwan bhashyakara sums up the entire idea of the first chapter and begins his bhashya on gita here uh, where he says let me just increase the size here so that you can hopefully see it better uh no this is not good. okay okay so atra atra now having reached at this point he begins the bhashya of saying atra drushtva tu pandava nikam iti arabhya yavat na yots iti govindam uktva tushnim bhavuah so from 1.2 because 1.1 was a question by dhritarashtra so 1.2 onwards sanjaya has started narrating what has happened on the battlefield so mama kaha pandavasya yo kim kim kuruvata sanjaya so that's what he had asked and as an answer to that drishtva tu pandavani kam having seen the army of pandavas the battle formation till what till this 2.9 na yot se i will not fight i shall not fight says arjuna under the influence of this shoka this grief and he says that i do not know here and here after anything that will take away my grief so no no you would say i will not fight because whether i win or lose nothing is going to bring me happiness forget happiness this grief won't go the grief this immense grief not only here but here after in, even if i get swarga i do not know how it can take away this immense grief of mine that is his condition so iti arabhya yavat na yotse iti govindam uktva tushnim bhavuah he became silent he became silent and still he threw away his gandiva he kept his threw away as in he kept his gandiva aside and he says that i cannot fight any more i will not fight is no you say i shall not fight this is the conclusion that arjuna has made even after saying what he had told krishna that i uh, so shadi ma uh, he says that i am your shishya so you ought to teach me now so i am shishya means what i have i have submitted unto you i take refuge unto you he he said that i see no no one else who can remove this that is his thinking that if at all someone can remove this shoka maybe you can but you have to remove this confusion i have we do not know which papa is worse than the other or which papa is better than the other we do not know having concluded that he is give he is taken refuge unto krishna but that is just lip service because had he taken refuge he wouldn't have said i i will not fight because he has concluded i will not fight giving benefit of doubt we uh, we looked at it last time that if we give benefit of doubt to arjuna he is saying that i will not fight unless you tell me uh, you bring out uh, the clarity in my mind you you take away this delusion and you bring out this karpanya dosha you have to take away i am unable to think so you help me there so we can give that benefit of doubt and say that he has he is saying that i shall not fight unless you resolve this issue iti etad antah praninam shoka mohadi samsara bija bija bhuta doshod bhava karana pradarshanartha tvena vyakheyo granthah so this grantha is vyakheya which grantha iti etad antah so iti arabhya iti etad antah so starting from 102 till 2.9 grantha that grantha is vyakheya should be commented upon should be explained should be explained how as what as uh, pradarshanarthatvena should be explained as as to show why are the shlokas shown 
or why are these shlokas narrated in Gita? Why has it been included here in Gita? Is to show Pradarshanarthatvena is uh, for the purpose of Pradarshanaya. Pradarshanam Artham Yasya Artha Yasya Yasya Granthasya. That Grantha for which the idea, the commitment is to show, show what Pradarshana, to depict Karana, to depict Karana, to Pradarshana of Karana. What Karana? Karana Udbhava Karana. The Shoka Mohadi Samsara Vija Bhuta Dosha Udbhava Karana. It is the cause. The, it is showing it is showing the cause for Udbhava of Dosha. It is showing the cause of uh, the defect which is born. What defect? The defect in the form of Samsara Bija. That those defects, defect or defects, multiple. The faults which will give rise to Samsara. So the faults which are in the form of seed, Bija Bhuta, what kind of bija? Samsara bija bhuta. They will sow this seed for samsara head, samsaranam. Continuance in this janma mrityu cycle. It will continue the person, it will cause the person to continue in this samsara. What are those? Shoka mohadi. Shoka mohadi, samsara bija bhuta, doshod bhava karna pradarshana arthanatvena vyakhyo grantha. So that is the idea in the first uh, chapter and the first nine shlokas of second chapter, they are committed to show the cause which will lead to, that which will lead to the uh, bija. They will sow the seeds for the defects which will arise, they will sow the seed for samsara. And samsara is in the form of what? Shoka moha. Shoka moha is the samsara. Adi, Adi Padan, Raga, Dvesha, Janma, Murti, all of that can be brought in. Whatever we think is samsaranam, which makes uh, this samsara, which we experience in this samsara, that is Shoka Mohadi Rupa. So, Shoka Mohadi Samsara Bija Bhuta Doshod Bhavak Karana Pradarshan Arthatvena. It's a single word. Bhashakara uses a huge samasa. Thereby, it is Vyakhya commented upon, to be commented upon or to be explained. So, that's the idea of the what he has not commented upon so far. Tathahi and similarly, Arjunena Rajya Guru Putra Mitra Suhrut Swajana Sambandhi Bandhaveshu Ahamete Sham Mamaite Mamaite Iti Evam Pratye Nimitta Sneha Vichedadi Nimitta Atmanaha Shoka Moho Pradarshitau and Tathahi Pradarshitau. Tathahi it has been shown similarly or so too and so too it has been shown. What has been shown Pradarshitau? Two things have been shown. What are what have been shown? Shoka moha dandva. Shokascha mohascha shoka moho. Shoka and moha have been shown in these shlokas till now. Up till now, uh, what has been shown? Shoka, grief and moha, delusion. So that grief and that delusion which has led Arjuna to conclude that na yotse, I shall not fight. But what is this? This is applicable to everyone. But Arjuna, he says that Tathahi Arjunena Rajya, Put, Rajya Guru Putra Mitra Suhrut Swajana Sambandhi Bandaveshu. So Rajya Kingdom, Guru, Acharyas, Putra, Children, Putra Potram, Children, Grandchildren, all of the Mitra, Friend, he sees Friends also. Suhrut, he sees uh, well wishers. Swajana, his own people, he is saying, both sides he sees his own people, Sambandhi, relatives also he sees, Bandhaveshu and uh, all his brothers and uh, so Sambandhi and Bandhavas, so relatives, immediate relatives and uh, those who in-laws etc. Arjunena, Rajya Guru Putra Mitra, Suhrut, Swajana, Sambandhi, Bandhaveshu, what? Aham etesha mama ete, iti evam pratye nimitta sneha vichedadi nimittau. Shoka Moha are what? Nimittau. Shoka Moha is caused. Nimittau. Shoka Moha are Nimittau. They are caused by what? Uh, uh, vicheda. Uh, uh, sneha Vicheda Adi Nimittau. See, Aham Ete Shah Mama Ete. These are my people and I belong to them. This is the idea that is driving him. He is not seeing someone else. Of course, it, 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 earlier he may have had the uh, 
seen that these are not my own people and thereby he has gotten ready to fight them for Dharma Yuddha to get that kingdom. So he started with Rajya but then he sees Guru Putra Mitra all of this he sees and he says that I, this, uh, I am Aham Etesham, I belong to these, these people I belong to and Mama Ete, so they are all mine, I belong to them, how shall I fight, there can be no war, it is unthinkable. Iti evam pratya, pratya is thinking, iti evam, iti evam means in this manner, the thinking in this manner that I belong to them, they belong to me, iti evam pratya nimitta, and what is that thinking caused by, that thinking is caused by sneha and vichedadi nimitta, so that thinking, sneha, uh, rather, iti evam pratya nimitta sneha vichedadi, sneha is, uh, sneha is, Sneha actually, Sneha is that bonding, Sneha is bonding and uh, Vichyeda is separation. So that with that bonding and separation, he is thinking about that. Iti em pratye nimitta Sneha Vichyeda adi nimittav shoka moho. The shoka moha which are caused due to this Sneha and Vichyeda, bonding and separation and Adipadena, all of these, or all of the other, uh, other kind of emotions, Iti evam pratya nimitta sneha vichyadadi nimitta o atmanaha shoka moho pradarshito. Atmanaha is reflexive here for oneself. Here Arjuna but it is applicable for everyone. When once you have this idea that I belong to them and they are mine with that idea everything will follow through. Iti evam pratya nimitta what will happen sneha and vichyada. There will be happiness due to that bonding, sukha and there will be dukkha due to separation, vichyeda. Thereby what will happen? Shoka moha. Shoka will be there. There will be grief when there is separation. Even in uh, when there is sneha, when there is bonding, there is bound to be some grief because there will be expectations. Thereby shoka and moha and then delusion. One gets deluded under that uh, attachment and separation, bonding and separation. One gets deluded and carried away into things thereby you see Dhritarashtra also even if he has also had Dharma Shastra training still he gets carried away under uh, Sneha Vichyeda with Duryodhana so Arjuna is no different Arjuna also has the same issue now so Shoka Moha Pradarshito so through these uh, Shlokas Shoka and Moha are shown meaning grief Arjuna's grief for oneself Atmanaha Shoka Moha Pradarshito grief and delusion how further katham bhishmam aham sankhe ityadina through Arjuna's words in the shrukas starting from 2.4 katham bhishmam aham sankhe ityadina it is shown so from 2.4 how can I kill these acharyas bhishma ityadi how can I kill katham aham uh, katham bhishmam aham sankhe in this battlefield how can I kill them Shoka moha vyam hi avibhuta viveka vijyanaha svataha eva kshatra dharme yudhe pravurtaha api tasmad yudhad upara rama. And what has this shoka moha led to now? Thinking that he has shown shoka moha vyam due to this shoka and moha or through shoka and moha hi avibhuta. Or by, we can take whichever fits in best. Shoka moha bhyam hi abhibhuta. So, Kartari works well. The viveka vijnanaha is abhibhuta. Viveka vijnana, the discriminative knowledge or knowledge of discrimination. Vijnana of viveka means what? Discriminative knowledge. What is right? What is not right? What is dharma? What is adharma? What is punya? What is papa? All of these to start with these. And then of course Atman Atma Viveka is not expected there anyway. But Atman Atma Viveka is also expected later. We will see how. And in that context Gita comes up as a teaching of Atma Jnana. Shoka Mohabhyam hi Abhibhuta. Abhibhuta means it is Viveka Vijnana is uh, overshadowed. Overshadowed. Indeed he, indeed it is overshadowed by what? Shoka and Moha. Because once under the influence of grief and one is deluded, then what will happen? One cannot think right because mind is completely overwhelmed by these. Uh, Antakrana becomes mind. It becomes confused. 
it ha raises doubts it cannot conclude anything buddhi has no play there therefore swata eva kshatra dharme yuddhe pravrutta nobody forced them that you have to fight of course arjuna like other brothers in uh, like other pandavas they respected they respected yudhishthira yudhishthira whenever he was asked whenever he was asked that uh, should we fight it out should we should we take this to the battlefield he had always said no because he weighed a lot of things they have all they have always said no even when arjuna or uh, bhima had to fight in fact uh, bhima wanted to fight bhima said let's sort this out on the battlefield but uh, yudhishthira said no uh, so they had postponed this war many times many a time not once or twice so it had come to the discussion table so many times till yudhishthira said no uh, but and this has been thought the uh, thought over by vyasa ityadi also everyone has thought over but they said no let's see let's sort it out let's try to take something out let's take something and settle down didn't work then uh, when they were called for uh, uh, to play dice also as a kshatriya dharma he had to go yudhishthira went they all followed whatever he did they followed whatever yudhishthira said in fact yudhishthira said to uh, Uh, there he said that i have lost uh, wealth i'll uh, bet my brothers and then wife all that they agreed to why because yudhishthira cannot do any wrong he is a dharma purusha he knew best in fact it is asked that uh, yudhishthira yudhishthira in fact i was talking about the samasa there it is an alok samasa uh, it's a sanya name but yudhishthira yudhi is in yuddha in yudh yudh is yuddha he is he is thira he is thira it's a dharma yuddha for him that in yuddha see kshatriya is always thira in yuddha everyone is thira in yuddha every kshatriya worth his salt is thira in yuddha but uh, yudhishthira didn't give up his dharma therefore if you uh, recall the mahabharata incident when uh, ashwatthama is uh, hata hata is says that time dronacharya says that i want to listen to this from yudhishthira he says that even krishna can lie but yudhishthira will not lie therefore he agreed to it only when yudhishthira was forced to say that uh, ashwatthama hato ata and then he want he said he, he still couldn't say it somehow he said it and then he said i can't lie and then he said that uh, he created a doubt by saying uh, narova kunjarova so when he was saying that whether it's an elephant or whether it is a man but ashwatthama is killed so ashwatthama the elephant called ashwatthama was killed so he has not lied and when he said that krishna blew the conch uh, and uh, others could not hear that he said that narova kunjara so this was yudhishthira however when uh, they finally said that now we have to take to the battlefield because uh, even after going for vanvasa for uh, so many years and then staying for another year 12 years and one year in uh, uh, in in a hideout by changing our vesha also that time they, still even after that duryodhana said that i shall not give you even a land the size of a point of the needle because duryodhana was very clear he was not a miser he could he has given uh, dronacharya uh, uh, a kingdom he has given uh, uh, karna his a uh, uh, kingdom so he could have given some land he could have definitely given but he says that that will be accepting defeat or accepting that you all you all uh, as in pandavas you have lived in vanavasa and you have uh, accepted and lived up to all the terms which were proposed during dice it will be accepting that i do not want to accept that if you are right then why a small piece of land i should be giving you everything people will ask me why did you not give half the kingdom but since you uh, i have you have not lived up to the terms he wanted to show that pandavas have not lived up to their terms therefore he will not give you them a single piece of land that point of time yudhishthira said that we have to take it to the battlefield that and arjuna was ready all the time when bhima arjuna were ready but yudhishthira said no they said okay and it is said that bhima was very angry he was extremely angry that he he is not able to fight it out uh, he had to control his anger 
for yudhishthira because they respected their elder brother however when they decided arjuna was already in for it so swatha eva kshatra dharme yuddhe pravrutta nobody forced him arjuna himself wanted to fight it on the battlefield so swatha eva dharma kshatra dharme in kshatriya dharma it is his dharma to fight this battle yuddhe pravrutta although he was Uh, engaged in this battle out of his own sheer free will and following kshatriya dharma still api what tasmad yuddhad upara ram this is what shoka and moha can do to you it is your dharma you know it is right you want to act it out still the shoka moha delusions the shoka grief and delusion takes you away from your dharma therefore upara ram he sees to fight yuddhad He is to fight by saying what? No, you see. He says that I shall not fight. That is seizing uh, from the withdraw, withdraw from yuddha. Para dharma ancha. And not only did he say that I will not fight. What has he proposed instead? Para dharma ancha. Para dharma ancha. Bhiksha jivana dikam kartum pravrute. And he wants to engage in what? Engage in bhiksha jivana dikam. He says that bhiksha bhiksha. to live on arms to live on bhiksha which is not his dharma it is not a brahmachari it is not a uh, non brahmachari non sanyasi dharma he is a grahastha and on top of that kshatriya not only a kshatriya uh, deserving of kingdom a king a kingly kshatriya says that i will take to bhiksha is not his dharma at all so, but that is what shoka moha can do and this is an example which is used by mahabharata and geeta for which is shown as applicable to each and every one that's why there is a question which is which comes to mind as to why uh, why was geeta taught to arjuna not to others yudhishthira was a dharma purusha why not teach him he knew more dharma than arjuna uh, what about so uh, if you look at other pandavas they were smarter than him Uh, definitely yudhishthira was smarter so why did krishna choose not to teach Ar- uh, yudhishthira but only to arjuna because arjuna is like us yudhishthira was clear in his mind he says i shall fight and he he didn't have any issue on the standing on the battle fight field uh, till he didn't stand on the battle field he said that we will avoid this war he has, he was very clear that we will avoid as far as possible but if it comes to that he is going to put in his full effort without an iota of doubt in his mind that what i am doing is adharma or it will give papa none of that confusion is there he is he is the most clear on the battlefield there so he was a very good candidate we would say no he does not need that teaching because arjuna is one of us this geeta if you recall the introduction it is for the masses it is for everyone and most of us fall in this uh, for have the mind such as arjuna we get carried away by shoka and moha we get carried away by the thinking aham etesha mama ete and thereby driven by that we uh, take to adharma that is the basis of geeta that is the basis of teaching geeta to someone like us someone like a common man which is arjuna here as in thinking wise you see, look at the setup why arjuna has been taught geeta tasmad yuddhad upararama and paradharmancha bhiksha jivanadikam kartum pravavrute he engaged in what is adharma for him he wants to engage in that rather tatha cha sarva praninam shoka mohadi dosha vishta chetasam swabhavata eva swadharma parityagah pratishiddha seva cha syat and similarly is the case of others like arjuna all of us sarva praninam for all of us sarva praninam swabhavata eva swadharma parityagah what kind of sarva prani is all all creatures here but here human beings human beings have dharma dharma creatures others do not have dharma dharma therefore sarva praninam who those which are who are shoka mohadi dosha avishta chetasa so those who have the mind so chetasam this is a bahuri to point sarva praninam in shashti bahuvachana sarva praninam shokamohadi doshavishta chetasam sarva praninam 
so for people like us all of us who are avishta chetasa avishta chetasa who are who have a mind who have minds overwhelmed by overwhelmed by what doshas lot of doshas are there therefore all our puja starts with what duritakshay dwara duritakshay so mamopata samasta duritakshay dwara that is our sankalpa if you outsource it to a pandit also he will say that uh, the uh, doshas are what prarabdha karma has all these doshas also all papa which has led to this birth punya also is there 50 50 but still we are not troubled with punya we are troubled with uh, papa therefore dosha and what are these doshas how do they manifest in in the form shoka moha adi shoka moha raga dvesha uh, krodha kama lobha all these come to mind and tainted by this or overwhelmed by these kind of emotions sarva prani nam shoka moha adi dosha avishta chetasam for such people what happens swabhavata eva dharma parityaga syat so two things happen swadharma parityaga syat swabhavata naturally it's but natural that for such people for all all the people who are who have a mind whose minds are tainted with or overwhelmed with defects in the form of shoka moha etc what will happen it is but natural that swadharma parityaga will happen then one cannot think clearly thereby one gives up one's own dharma people even question you know i have been doing my dharma why do why why should i suffer so much of sorrow because we do not see we do not know what kind of karma we have done in the earlier lives even in this life we forget the wrongs that we have done that's why we can continue we say that no i have done no wrong and we continue that ahankara keeps us sticking that i am doing the right thing but what is really happening under the influence of shoka moha our viveka vijnana is clouded thereby swadharma parityagaha and pratishiddha seva cha and pratishiddha seva what we should not do we do pratishiddha seva is what uh, which is the meaning of this paradharma paradharmancha bhiksha which was paradharma for arjuna whatever is our paradharma that is prati pratishiddha seva which should not be done but we do that so this is these are the two effects then what else swadharme pravruttanam api tesham vang manakayadinam pravruttihi phala vi sandhi purvika eva sahankara cha bhavati and what happens is swadharme cha swadharme pravruttanam tesham not only for these people who are misguided who who uh, sarva prani as in all people who are influenced by shoka moha not only those people think about because not ev- not all the time is everyone under the influence of shoka moha actually life is taking happily because there is some happiness even if it is not taking happily also it is going on we say it things are okay so so life is going on chalta hai that that thinking why because some sukha is there puji swami ji used to say there is dukha 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 and sukha some sukha then again dukha 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 some sukha as soon as we feel that this entire life is only dukha some sukha comes and tempts us generally if we analyze we see that therefore buddha said what sarvam dukham he said sarvam dukham he ignored that sukha at all, completely he says this sukha is all you know it's an it's a hogwash it is just a you know a lollipop and uh, finally the truth fact is that there is dukha samsara is dukha roopa but here he says that there is sukha also so what happens then swadharme pravruttanam api not that everyone gives up swadharma swadharma parityaga and pratishiddha seva is not always the case so what happens when one is engaged in one's own dharma so there he says swadharme pravruttan api what about them tesham 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 kesham swadharme pravruttanam api even for those who are engaged in their own duties own ashrama own varnashrama dharma 
or whatever you are doing in your life say I, I, I am a doctor I treat patients so that is my duty I consider that my duty uh, in modern world so so on and so forth but Swadharma here is Varnashrama Dharma in the context of uh, Veda it is always Swadharma is Varnashrama Dharma Swadharma Pravruttana Vapi Tesham Vangmana Kayadinam Pravrutti Pravrutti is engagement of what? Of Vangmana Kayadina. All our karma is through that. It is, it is through speech, walk, manaha, through thinking and through kaya, kayadina, through body. And then Adipadena Indriya Dityadi. So Vangmana Kayadina through body, mind, sense organs, mind, all of this is what engagement in duties is through what? Is due to what? Is due to Phalavi Sandhi Purvika Eva Sahankara. It is with Ahankara. There is an individuality that this is my Varnashrama Dharma and therefore I should do it. And Phalavi Sandhi Purvika. Not only that, there is a Phalavi Sandhi. Uh, purvika as in this Pravritti is Purvika. Pr Pravritti is pr preceded by the engagement in the engagement of all the instruments, Vang, Manaha, Kaya, Ityadi, all of these, we engage our tools, our instruments in the form of body, mind, sense complex. How is that engagement? Engagement is with a Phalabhi Sandhi preceding, with a thinking preceding. It is preceded by what? Phalabhi Sandhi, that I want some result out of this. Anything that we do, anything that we do, our thinking is what? I want some result out of this. I, because otherwise it is wasteful. Why should I do it? People will say, why should I do it? Of course, there are people who will say that this is karma yoga. That's where it is leading. It is leading there. Phalavi sandhi purvika eva pravrutti bhavati. And sahankara cha. There has to be an individuality. Before you say that I will do it, why do I say? Because I, I am the only one who should be doing this. This is my duty. If you take duty. If you don't take duty also what? This karma, why am I doing? Because I want something out of it. So, Swadharma Pravruttanam api tesham vangmana kayadinam pravrutti bhalabhi sandhi purvika eva sahankara cha bhavati. So, sahankara and bhalabhi sandhi purvika are adjectives to pravrutti. Pravrutti is preceded by an expectancy of result with an expectancy of result and Sahankara cha, it has, there has to be an individuality, you should, we should say that I belong to this community, I am this kind of a person, I am a man, I am a woman, I am an engineer, I am a doctor, everywhere this is applicable. Even if you don't say it out, we know, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you know who you are. How? Wrongly, unfortunately we know wrongly that I am this body, mind, sense complex, I am a man, I am a woman, I am a father, I am a mother, I am a child. Uh, I am young, I am old, I am deceased, all these thinkings that again then I, I, I am a soldier, I am, a, uh, I am an engineer or I, or I am a uh, you know, government servant, whatever it is. All of this thinking is ahankara, sahankara is ahankara, sahankara is sahabhauri, along with individuality it is there, that pravrti engagement is always along with uh, an individuality. That I am this person, Tatra Evam Sati. That being so, Tatra Evam Sati. So, this being the case, with this setup, he is explaining Tatra Evam Sati. Dharma Dharma Upachayat, Ishta Nishta Janma Sukha Dukha Di Prapti Lakshana Sausaraha Anuparato Bhavati. Anuparataha Bhavati. What happens? This Sausaraha Anuparataha Bhavati. Sausara ceases, does not cease to be. Anuparataha. Uparata means ceases. Anuparata is nanj, nanj tat purusha. This samsara does not cease to be meaning what? It continues. This samsara continues. How, how do you say that? Because he says dharma dharma upachayat. What will happen when there is a hankara, that individuality is there? I look for results. Whenever I engage in, engage my, why should I say so? I want something if I say so. Why should? Why should I think so? I want something from that thinking. Why should I do so with engaging my body? Why should I see something? Why should I uh, taste something? I want something out of it. When that individuality is there, ahankara is that kartrutva bhoktrutva. I, I have kartrutva 
I am the doer and I want some bhoga out of that, I want some result out of that, with that thinking that I will get something out of that, therefore I do something, I say something, I think something, thereby what will happen? All of this will generate, it becomes a karma and a karma will always have association with phala, that phala will find the individual who did that karma and stick to that person and make that person continue in samsara. It will make that jiva born again and again based on that karma which has created an impression, vasana is there, that vasana will manifest and the ma for it to manifest some circumstances have to be there where that those vasanas can be fed in the form of karma phala which a person always keeps on seeking. Whatever I, I seek, whatever a person uh, sought for in earlier lives, those come back because they have formed an impression and the results will search that person and attach, make that person to be born in a particular circumstance, in a particular era, in a particular family, in a particular country, surroundings, all of these uh, with particular set of sense organs, body and in that particular body alone, whether it is a human body, a devata body, a rakshasa body, a plant, uh, an animal, a bird, amphibian, whatever it is, it will seek out the, as in those results, seek out the person by, because Ish, by Ishwara, blessed by Ishwara, that this is what you wanted, you wanted this kind of a light, you wanted this kind of a uh, body, this kind of a gender you wanted to be, therefore you have that, uh, in, in that Varnashrama you are born. Varnashrama as in, in, in Varna and then particular ashramas will continue. Swadharmi pravrtna vitesha vangvana kaya pravrti phalavi sandhi purvika eva sankara cha bhavati tatsrayam sati dharma dharma upachayat. Thereby dharma and adharma, dharma dharma upachayat due to accumulation. Upachaya is accumulation. Due to accumulation of dharma and adharma. Dharma and adharma here are punya and papa. Because any activity that you do will, whether it is vangvana kaya, Whichever is used for activity, that activity through that particular body-mind-sense complex will definitely generate some dharma or adharma, which is meaning punya and papa. Punya or papa, ishta anishta janma sukha dukhadi prapti lakshana sausaraha anuparato bhavati. And due to this accumulation of punya and papa with kartrutva bhoktrutva, what will happen with kartrutva actually, with kartrutva, dharma, dharma and actually bhoktrutva has led to kartrutva. I want to do some bhoga, therefore kartrutva and thereby action. That action will generate again bhoga, thereby bhoktrutva. So it is a continuous vicious circle, thereby punya and uh, papa would be accumulated by the jiva and due to that accumulation, Samsara anuparato bhavati, samsara will not stop. What kind of samsara? Ishta anishta janma sukha dukha di prapti lakshana samsara. That samsara which is characterized, bhauri, this ishta anishta, this is a bhauri pada. Samsara which is characterized, lakshana yasya. What kind of lakshana characterized by what? Prapti, prapti of what? Ishta, uh, something desirable, anishta non-desirable, janma, very clear, sukha, dukha, clear, adi, adi, padayana, raga, dvesha, uh, uh, krodha, lobha, moha, all of these, prapti lakshana, that samsara which is characterized by attainment of all of these, desirable, undesirable, birth, happiness, sorrow, raga, dvesha, ityadi, meaning what? Due to this, the chain continues and ends in samsara continuing. That is the end result. Samsara continues. Ityataha, therefore, ityata means since this is so, therefore, ataha, therefore, samsara bhija, bhija bhutam shoka moha. This shoka moha are analyzed to be the, in the form of bija of samsara. They are the seeds of samsara. Shoka moha, samsara bhija bhutam shoka moha, tayoscha sarva karma sanyasa purvakad, atma jnanat, Na anyataha nivrutti, nivrutti, na anyataha nivrutti, nivrutti, sorry. 
इत्यतः संसार बीज भूत शोक मोहो तयोश्च सर्वकर्म संन्यास पूर्वकाद आत्मज्ञानात ना अन्यतो निवृत्तिरिति तद उपदिदिक्षु सर्वलोकानुग्रहार्थम अर्जुन निमित्ति कृत्य आह भगवान वासुदेव सो वॉट डज भगवान भाष्यकार सेज देर फोर संसार बीज भूत शोक मोह दीज शोक मोह आर इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ सीड्स of samsara they are the reason for samsara if you can get over this shoka moha then we can get over samsara tayoscha tayosh tayo is shoka moha shoka moha yoho of the shoka moha yoho cha sarva karma sanyasa purvakad nivrutti so tayoscha nivrutti their nivrutti tayoscha is shashti uh, divachana सो शोक मोह तयो तयो इट्स अ प्रोनाउन प्रोनाउन फॉर व्हाट तद प्रोनाउन फॉर शोक मोह शोक एंड मोह तयो निवृत्ति कथम भवे हाउ कैन दे हाउ विल निवृत्ति सो यू आर सेइंग दे आर संसार बीज भूत नाउ प्लीज टेल मी हाउ कैन आई गेट ओवर शोक मोह हाउ कैन देयर बी निवृत्ति ऑफ दिस शोक मोह हाउ कैन देयर बी दैट इज व्हाट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन नाउ दिस इज द थिंकिंग व्हिच ही जनरेट्स If you are saying that shoka moha are the cause for samsara, then please tell me how can this shoka moha go? This is what Arjuna's question is. Arjuna is saying that shadi mam, uh, you teach me, I am shishya, shishya, shishya stam shadi mam. So he says you teach me, stam prapannam shadi mam, stam prapannam. I have taken refuge unto you. So Bhagwan Bhasya Kare saying this is what Krishna is looking at. His question is finally what Arjuna's question is. Shoka moha nivrutti wants. And na anyata nivrutti hi anyata na bhavati. An, anyata is what? It cannot be, uh, it cannot be, actually this, uh, there seems to be a typo here. Na anyata, this, uh, the word, there is a typo there. Na anyata, anyata na bhavati. I think it should be a thakara here. That's why I was uh, having trouble. Na anyato. Okay. So anyway, anyata na bhavati. It cannot be otherwise. Other than what? What is the only way? अन्यथा सर्वकर्म संन्यास पूर्वकाद आत्मज्ञानात न अन्यथा इट कैनॉट बी इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दिसन ऑफ शो कमो इज नॉट पॉसिबल अदर देन ज्ञान व्हाट ज्ञान आत्मज्ञान अदर देन नॉलेज ऑफ आत्मा शुद्ध आत्मा अदर देन नॉलेज ऑफ हु आई एम विदाउट दैट बीइंग एंसर्ड विदाउट नॉलेज ऑफ वंस ओन स्वरूप there cannot be nivritti of shoka moha and thereby uh, samsara also and what is this uh, atmajnana atmajnana will come only when there is sarva karma sanyasa so atmajnana which is preceded by purvaka which is preceded by sanyasa what what kind of sanyasa not sanyasa from some things that i don't like i have taken sanyasa from uh, work i don't like to work i have taken sanyasa i have retired why voluntary retirement i don't i get enough money let's say a voluntary retirement i take retirement that is not sanyasa sarva karma sanyasa so he says giving up so people say that uh, in this, uh, uh, all this uh, daily doing puja doing upasana doing uh, seva all this, i've taken sanyasa from that i i am a couch potato i mean couch potato i am a couch potato i like to you know relax and watch tv whatsapp all this that is not sanyasa because that people give up what they don't want to do they, uh, there are people who say that you know neo vedantins they say that what do you do i don't have to do anything i am atma puja swami you know tatvamasi he used to say in an accent that tatvamasi 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 so i, I am atma so, tatvamasi also they don't know the meaning really so it's a, just a parroting words therefore it, bhagwan bhashyakara says atma jnana cannot be and this is an orthodox view sarva karma sanyasa purvaka now what arjuna is thinking that i will take to bhikshacharya that is sanyasa sanyasa dharma so let him do no it is going to be explained that cannot be driven by shoka moha his reason for taking sanyasa is wrong reason for taking sanyasa cannot be that uh, you know uh, 
uh, raga dvesha it cannot be shoka moha it cannot be misunderstanding that you know i am already atma what do i need to do but whatever i like i do you give up uh, sandhya vandana why because it takes trouble why should i do it i am atma atma has no sandhya vandana no papa no punya there we voice it one way and then whenever we want to let's go for a movie let's go you know party it out that time there is the thinking of atma is no longer there this is what we see in new vedan things anyway so tayosha sarva karma sanyasa purva kad atma jnanat na anyatha nivrutti riti tad upadidikshu tad upadidikshu is uh, wanting to teach that tad upadishtum ichchu desirous of teaching that that teaching what teaching that shoka moha nivrutti is not possible without atma jnana therefore what sarva loka anugrahartham arjunam nimitti krutya bhagavan vasudeva aha so bhagavan vasudeva aha aha he said here said is in the form of answered the question or actually taught he has said that tvam prapannam mam shadi so you teach me shishya tvam so i am i am your shishya you teach me therefore aha means he taught bhagavan vasudeva taught taught whom he actually arjunam nimitti krutya he oh, the teaching is this atma jnanat anyatah nivrutti na bhavati therefore arjunam nimitti krutya taking arjuna as as a nimitta nimitta matra he is facilitating this teaching for the entire world therefore sarva loka anugrahartham bhagwan vasudeva taught ah for the purpose of uh, or rather to bless anugraha anugrahartam to bless everyone sarva loka so all people to bless everyone he took arjuna as a nimitta and taking him as a case case study rather he taught what did he teach shloka 2.11 onwards ashochyanam sochastum ityadi so ashochyan what is the shloka this shloka is going to come forward i'll just explain the meaning we'll see the vyakrana when we hit that shloka he says uh, shri bhagavan uvacha ashochyanam sochastum prajnavadansha bhashase gatasuna gatasuncha nanu sochanti panditaha so first thing that he is telling arjuna is what tvam tvam prajnavadanscha bhashase you you talk you are talking you are talking as though prajna prajnavadanscha bhashase panditaha na anusochanti he is saying that panditaha those who are really scholars prajnavad prajnavadan is what uh, you are making statements of prajna as though you have knowledge so you are talk, talking as though you know everything but you do not really know that's what he say prajna vadansha bhasha se panditah na anusochanti you are but tam anusochasi you are grieving but panditas do not grieve they do not grieve because they know who is atma who is not atma they don't grieve for anatma really they do not grieve those who know but you are talking prajna vadansha bhasha se and ashochyan anvasochastvam tvam anvasochah you are grieving for those which are not to be grieved for why he is saying he is saying that gatasun agatasunscha na anusochanti panditah they do not grieve because gatasun agat agatasun those which come and go bodies come and go you should not grieve for bodies which come and grow they should not be grieved for now if you take that uh, bhishma dronachara ityadi these are all atma then atma has no death then what are you crying for you are grieving for atma which does not have any death now if you say that you are crying for this body mind sense complex that you see in of this guru and bhishma chara ityadi why are you crying for the body mind sense complex which will die and which will which will gatasun agatasun which will keep on going and coming there will be one body then there will be an, another body whatever has had a birth is definitely going to have death and that which has a death is definitely going to have birth 
body dies, body comes back. So therefore you should not grieve for uh, body which is dying. Now if you say that you grieve for uh, not Ahara and Atma but for Atma, then in that case also you should not be crying because Atma never dies. So what are you really crying for? There is no reason for Shoka and Moha. This is what is the idea here in 11 Shloka. So what is he saying? There is Bhagwan starts teaching using this. Uh, we started late but we will stop here so that we have uh, at this junction. So we will start the next para in the next part. Huh? So, so far he has given the idea that what he is, uh, what this, uh, what has gone by and what is going to come by, uh, come in this en entire Gita. In entire Gita what is going to come that he, is, he has covered. Now he is saying, analyzing as to what is the meaning of what is going to come. So far he has given the intention for, uh, the basis for the Gita to be taught which is Arjunam Nimitya Kritya to basically show that this is Atma Jnana is being taught and through this there will be Shoka Moha Nivritti and through Shoka Moha Nivritti there will be Samsara Nivritti. This is the basis for uh, on which the teaching has begun or is going to start. Now he is analyzing as to what is the teaching of the entire Gita. What is that teaching? What is that Atma Jnana and uh, how it should be pursued? This is being analyzed here in the next para by taking other viewpoints and then establishing what is the real commitment of Gita. Om Shanti 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 Om Tat Sat. Any questions? Did you have a question? Yeah, no. Okay, so I see you know, this. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part. No questions, right? Okay, namaste.